everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page. Today I'm going to kind of be doing a TBR rediscovered thing. So like many book lovers, I often am buying books all the time and then I get distracted by new books or different books. So then they kind of sit either in my Kindle or on my TBR bookshelf. And so I've decided that once a month I'm going to go through and pick a couple books and I'm going to try to read at least one book from the three or four that I've chosen to get through that month. Um, this can kind of help me get through my backlog, rediscover books that I had originally fallen in love with, and maybe also get rid of some books that I'm no longer interested in. My stipulation for this is for me, I want them to be at least a year old, if not older. Um, it's kind of easier to tell for my Kindle books because I can tell when I purchase them. It's kind of hit or miss for my TBR ones, but I can kind of remember when I bought some of them. So, the first one that I, that is in my choices is The Steel Remains by Richard K. Morgan. It is a sci-fi fantasy novel. It is about, um, uh, one, an ex-mercenary and a, like, one-time war hero named Ringel Es, oh, Ringel Eskyeth, Gil for short, who has been estranged from his, like, er, mm, I can't say this word, aristocratic family. Um, and of course there's like a prophecy looming over his head about a dark lord that'll rise, because there always is. Not that I'm knocking it, it's just, you see that a lot. Um, doesn't mean I'm not interested in it, and it's not, it's always usually one of my favorite plot lines, so. And his mom reaches out to him and asks him to try to help save a cousin who has been sold into slavery. And so him and like two other companions decide to go and do this, and on the way they realize it's going to be a lot harder than they anticipated, which once again, of course it is. And so it's also harder and there's more at stake for him. And of course, Gil and his two comrades are all that stand in the face of the looming prophecy and possibly the end of the world. So, I mean, that's kind of an interesting one. The other one that I'll be choosing from is called Redemption Song by Derek Parsons. And this is more of a mystery thriller suspense one, and it is the first book in the Jack O'Neill Mysteries series. So um, it seems to be set in Dublin, Ireland, and someone is, someone is murdering black men. They decide if it's an anti-immigrant racist group or someone else or something else that is doing this. The problem is, is as the pressure and body count rises, more and more for Jack becomes at stake, not only his career, but his life as he becomes the interest of the killer, which is usually something I'm interested in when the detective usually has a stake in the murders besides just like them wanting to solve the mysteries. And then the last one that I've chosen to try to, uh, that is on my list of ones to try is More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. I've had, I have heard a lot about this. It was, I knew it was pretty big when it first was published. It is a YA contemporary. I don't know if that's quite the right word. So it is about this boy named Adam who kind of is dealing with a lot. He doesn't feel like he's getting the support his, from his family that he thinks he is. Um, his father committed suicide and his mom is working a lot to try to support their family and his brother's really distant. So he doesn't really feel like he has really much support. And he meets this guy named Thomas, who I think moves across the street. And they become really close friends and possibly something more. But it seems like his new happiness and possible gayness isn't really welcome in his community. So there is this kind of miracle cure-all by the Litio Institute. And it is their revolutionary memory program. And it seems to be able to completely erase his memories, completely making him forget who he is. So that's also a kind of interesting one. So if you guys, so if you guys have any opinions on which one I should read, leave comments down below and let me know if there's anything you've rediscovered on your TBR that you have, that has become a favorite of yours or anything that you're like, I forgot I had this. Well, until the next video, ta-ta for now.